Yeah. I put my soul into these songs. Pray you feel me every beat. Hope I make it all alone. Show you shorty sound bitch. See my homie turn to snake. Now we hurt me just speak. Cause I thought I had his verse. Now I learned they not for me. Wish I could talk to my brother. Now he dead, don't need to cease. Remember he had called my phone. I ain't know what to believe. That was the same day I was alone. I ain't have nothing to eat. It was cold and then the sun, man. We barely had to eat. Ran with some thugs and college slug. That's why my homie lay the seats. I miss my blood for the elbow look. Now me and him can't never speak. Damn. Feeling lost in my time. Feeling lost in my mind. Shot, cherish it or perish it. I couldn't be sad. In the room full of people who I'm gonna ride. The people who was loyal to me, man. I know it ain't that. And they hurt me every day. Cause I'm tired of seeing snakes. Only family on my side, but even family can't be snakes. Notice that when I got wise, I love them, but I give them space. Trust is something that's so great. How you break it like it's nothing? Hate to give, but love to take. The reason I wrote that, because, like, I lost two people that was close to me. I lost my uh, brother. He took. He was the reason why I did music, and I lost my home. And it was like a lot of people they um uh, would look for gang violence to go back to it. Like you know, basically uh get payback, or whatever you know, whatever that is. So I feel like you can turn something that's bad to positive. That's what I believe in. I believe in like somebody can hear my story. And whatever they going through, they can make a uh, situation better than worse. That's mm -hmm. why I said uh, cherish it to perish because I know a lot of people they they perish their life, uh, risking their life uh, over something that happens to their home. Mm -hmm. Or you could just cherish it. Okay, um, everything happens for a reason, so you just give it to God and let it be. Yes, sir. Don't discriminate. Sometimes I gotta keep my dreads up. I'm a savage <laughs> because I gotta get this bread up. Fans <laughs> real low, so that's why I think the fans hate us. What do you believe about your story? I believe that my story can inspire people, like, like for all the lonely children. Cause like I'm pretty much I grew up like by myself, like with nobody to help me or talk to me about life. Cause I only got a mother. I don't really have. Father, so it was hard, and then you got uh, fake people in this world, and just like all types of different people. So it's just hard growing up by yourself. And I feel like people that don't have relatives or that don't talk to nobody, friends or anything, they could like just compare to my story. Or, and it's just hard being by yourself. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that. Right, so next we have uh, Tayshawn, right? Tayshawn, did you write or are you gonna freestyle? Mm, freestyle. So Tayshawn does this thing where he doesn't write his music; it comes off the top, which is an amazing ability, and it's even more challenging to freestyle without swearing. So we we are asking you, we are asking you, Tayshawn, to keep it clean, but tell your story. All right. Project your voice too. Hit the flow, got a glow, taking my best and I'm counting my riches, I'm counting my best, so I'm counting my distance, I do this for you, I do it for who, one up on me and I swear I'm gonna shoot, let's talk about that, can't talk about that, I'm wasted, overthinking all my thoughts, I don't get no sleep, cause it's about the days, I done feel some pain, built the rain, temptation shit, I wish it was just rain, swear I done seen better days, adolescents bring the pain, yeah, okay, adolescents bring the pain, I lost my mama, I was only nine, I lost my uncle, I swear I almost died, I lost day day too, they don't know my pain, 
And when I go to the top, I'ma make it rain. I'm wasted on the lake and on my thoughts. I don't get no sleep. They say how you can't pump on six. Have to walk the block again. Have to go and do this head like big. Make some mini mess. And every day I'm thinking about my life. It's a blessing. It's a blessing that we can't do nothing. It's a blessing that we share the same cover. Cause we ain't have nothing. Come on, boy. What do you believe about your story? I don't believe up, about my story. Anyway. Those challenges you can overcome. Like, when I said I lost my grandma, my uncle Wu, and daddy, I couldn't cry about it. I cried, but it was just me crying wasn't going to do nothing. Right. So I had to better myself and do something for them just to let them know I'm going to do it for you. Yeah. God, I know. All right, so next we have Roderick, Roro. All right, let's clap it up for Roro. So Roro is going to go um, a cappella. He's not going to use a beat. I say, got me lost up in my thoughts. They want to know what I be thinking. A lot of things be on my mind. I be always in my feelings. I be running out of time. It won't take no but a minute if you keep on telling lies how you expect to be forgiven. Let me tell you about my life. 17, I'm seeing spirits. Also, I be hearing voices, paranoid. Got me tripping. I be crying out for help. It's hard for me to open up. Mama, what I'm trying to say, I don't worry about my mental health. Hope this pain go away, because I've been dealing with some problems. Please stay away. It's not like you're going to help me solve them. I'm a different person. These are the people they follow. I can't show no mercy. They wasn't there when I called them. I just want the money. I pray I count up a million. Man, I'm from a city. They pity. They steady killing. He be off them drugs. He got them deep in his feelings. Is you rocking with me? I'm staying there. Is you leaving? Got me lost up in my thoughts. They want to know what I be thinking. A lot of things be on my mind. I be always in my feelings. I be running out of time. It won't take no but a minute if you keep on telling lies how you expect to be forgiven. Let me tell you about my life. 17, I'm seeing spirits. Also, I be hearing voices. Paranoid. Got me tripping i'll be crying out for help so for me to open up mama when i'm trying to stay on worry about my mental health all right. what do you believe about your story what i believe about my story you know i feel like you know it could benefit a lot of people because in my story i talk about you know people dealing with you know mental health you know it's a lot of people that deal with like anxiety it's a lot of people that got like ptsd you know just just going through problems, so I feel like what I'm talking about, it can benefit people and it can relate to people, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. How has your story shaped you over the years? Just having that mentality, you know, even though, even though um, times get hard, you know, you just got to keep pushing because you know, at the end of the day, you know, the world still continues. You know, there's going to be a lot of people that go through stuff, you know, it, you just, it just don't give you the reason to, you know, just to give up, you know, you got to keep pushing. You know, like my mom, she always said, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. So I just mm -hmm. use that as motiva motivation. So that's how it really shaped me. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a question for the, uh, for, the, for the group. When you all hear these stories or when you hear Roro's comments about mental health, what does that make you think about? Like, what, what are your, what's, what's coming to your mind as you hear these stories, these lyrics, what are y'all's thoughts? I just go through mm -hmm. the same stuff. What was that? Everybody go through the same stuff. Okay. Relatable. It's relatable? You said you want to share, Tayshawn? Yeah, uh, like she said, it's relatable, but it's just like what everybody, for me, I feel like if you came from nothing, you're going to have the same story as somebody else. So by him saying that, it's like, you could probably connect to it because you came from the same place as him. Mm -hmm. came from. Mm -hmm. Mud brother, blood brother. Mm -hmm. So the next person we have is um, is Matt. Where's Matt at? There he goes. So Matt doesn't have uh, any lyrics, but he's gonna he's gonna share uh, he's gonna share a story with us. So when I was really young, I was born deaf and I couldn't hear. Or that's the same thing. And I couldn't speak, so I was a lot behind everybody else. And it was really hard. And then I finally got surgery, so I got my tonsils out, I got my ears drained, stuff like that, and I could start hearing again. But it was horrible because I was older than everybody else in my class. And kids would make fun of me for it. You know, I get bullied every day. You know, then things started looking up. Uh, I started catching up with kids, you know, and then we moved out here. You know, and then my dad got a better job. We started getting more money. 
So we always want to know, like, the worst part of connecting. There's always some type of crime going on. Drug abuse, rape, any, it's everything. And then I come here, you know, and I finally realize that this world is unforgiving. And I, I got to toughen up, realize that, you know, ain't nobody going to give me what I need. I got to go and take what I need mm -hmm. and do what I need to do so I can better myself. Mm -hmm. um, what do you hope people take away from your story? I hope people take away that no matter what you come up from, being deaf, you know, not even losing a limb, you know, you can come up from it. You know, there's always a way to come up and be your best self, even if you come from the worst self. Okay. All right, so the next one we have is Calvin. Calvin is going to also go a cappella, no, no instrumental. Mother's crying because their son's dying. Father's got to do some time at night, shots flying. Heart racing thoughts rushing through their minds. So many of us dying, we all one of a kind. We all just want peace of mind. Daughters in distress, babies laying on their chest every day. It's a dozen deaths. They pray they won't be next like a knife at your neck. Once you see them lights, better make sure you out of sight. We all tired of them on cold, cold nights. We all through, we all through going through personal fights. Police letting shots out. Mama shedding tears at night. Brothers and sisters getting shot down. It's like a war in these trees. You don't know if you might make it out. You asking the Lord to help. You can't st you can't get no secret about somebody running in the house. Mm -hmm. Fathers know where to be found because they body on the ground. They don't want to see us at our best, so they put us to this to this ah, So they put us to the test. All this pain and our stress, all this pain and stress, gotta take it. Ah, shit. All this pain and stress, gotta get it off my chest. Stick together, kings and queens, keep y'all crown because y'all the best. Okay. Good job. Why is your story important? Um, my story is important because I think without without what happened yeah, yeah, in the past, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be where I am today. But it's made me stronger, braver, and just more of a man. Okay. <laughs> Find a beat, find a beat. Living with two broken bones, living with two broken bonds. I get real like Jimmy John's, but the dad, my mother's son. Singing songs, I put my tongue. Father, he had clothes and lungs. See why you had no son, I'm done. You ever get that feeling, then you start playing the villain. Have you ever seen somebody ride a drug? Then they chilling. Have you ever seen a picture with a girl? They say missing, they ain't doing nothing for us. But they kill us for attention. I don't know. I just believe I can help people out through my story because... I feel like a lot of people got the same uh, story as me that's coming from where I'm coming from because the thing in my course was like, you know, like feelings like where well, everybody think you the outcast, where well, everybody think that you do, th do bad things and stuff like this, but then pictures that be all in Walmart, all on wall and stuff with missing kids and all this and that because people taking them and doing things with like organs or doing whatever they want to them or whatever like that. Yeah. Okay. All this pain inside, now I'm finna waste some breath trying to let it out. If you play with my shorty song, coming for your snout. Sleeping on the floor, sharing covers in the mouth. Thinking about that night they took my brother to the house. That's the day I learned not to trust the mouth. School 
was in front so I took a different breath. I'm screaming free T baby, his birthday was the other day. Hope they give him a bit, getting tired of letters in the mint. I thought blood was thicker than water until my brother told the J. Now I'm looking at my ace, remember it was down for me. Now they wouldn't come around for me, so I say down for my gang and my ace. Yeah, they looking for my place. I'm gonna rap when they come around and they hate. Why is your story important? Why is it important? Because uh, T Baby was, that's one of my homies. He was like, like one day I got kicked out the house and he he invited me in the car. It was like 12 o'clock at night. And he drove me around. He just talked to me about like how I shouldn't be getting into my mama and stuff like that. And he's like just bettering myself. But now, now I like, everything done changed for me. It's like some I got to put on for myself because now he in jail for some day. He can be in jail for, for a long time. And that like changed me completely. And his birthday was just yesterday. Mm. I say, Mama, you can't stop crying. I was paying it too on end. Yeah, I know them bills ain't paid on time. And you can't ask a friend why we got it. You still can't do shit so we can buy that crib. And I haven't ate all day, but it's okay because we got bread. While my pops still ain't came on me, said he went to clear his head. I can't even get no sleep. I overthink it now. I'm sad. While my teacher asked why I ain't eating, I can't answer that. And while I'm walking home, I turn around and then I anybody die from that so it kind of opened my eyes to like what other people are really going through like all these killings that's happening every day in Chicago it really opened my eyes to that and like how they feel and putting my self in other people's shoes it kind of like helped me you know build that perspective that other people can relate to mm. um, what do you hope people take from your story more self-aware and socially aware of how they feel and mm. yeah.